It's another busy day at my favorite farmer's market. And I don't know about you, but me, I like to try something new when I come to the farmer's market. So I thought, who can I ask? Aha, my good friend, Timree Hagenberger. She can give me some healthy options and something new. Yes, purple potatoes. Purple potatoes. I have not had purple potatoes, but in fact, they are purple. They are at? purple, oh, outside and in. Oh, that's so cool. Now, purple, you should think immune system. Oh. You should think blueberries. You should think pomegranates, and you should think potatoes. Oh, okay. Yes. Excellent. Anthocyanins, those same compounds that are in those wonderful fruits. A word I probably have never uttered until now, but well, yeah, now I will say it. Right. Yes, anthocyanins. <laughs> yes. Anthocyanins, there you go. So purple potatoes are a fun way to add some color to your plate and add some nutrition. Excellent. And how do you pick out a good one here? So with potatoes, you want to make sure, if possible, that you're picking them out loose like this and not in a bag. Oh, a okay. lot of potatoes okay. in a bag, the moisture can start to accumulate yeah. and then it can go bad. Like so, this guy. This guy's yeah, a bad that's a little bad. Yes. So you want them to be firm and dry, no dry rot. And when you look at the edges, you don't want them to be wrinkled because that's going to show that they're losing moisture. Got it. But they've been around for a while, huh? Yeah. Exactly. And you pick size wise just to be even if you're going to roast them. Uh -huh. You don't want huge ones and tiny ones. Oh, got it. But if you're going to cut them, it really doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Like you are. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. A little teaser for when we get back in the kitchen. Okay. So we'll pick out a couple good ones here. We just got back from the market with our potatoes and cleaned them all, diced them up. By yes. we, I mean you. But we do not peel. Do not peel. Do not peel. <laughs> the peel is very important. <laughs> and the nutrients are right underneath, including in the peel itself. And these purple sweet potatoes have a very, very thin peel. Oh, okay. So, now, what we're going to do is make garlic roasted potatoes. Ooh, that sounds so good. So this is fun, and we're going to use lemon. So what I'm going to do is put all of the spices into the bowl, and then I'm going to toss the potatoes in, and then we're going to put them in the oven. So we have rosemary, Italian seasoning, oh. smoked paprika. That is the secret ingredient, different than just paprika. So paprika is just ground bell pepper. Uh -huh. But smoked paprika completely changes the flavor. Okay. It's really good. nice. And then we want some lemon. And this you're just gonna have to figure out if you have enough liquid. So okay. it may take two lemons, it may take half a lemon, just depends on how juicy. Okay. Okay. So we just want all that juice. And we're trying to make a paste and then we need garlic. So I'm gonna have you mix while okay. I get some garlic. So take a shot from in there and see. So a little pasty kind of? Yes, we okay. do. Okay. And we, if we need a little more. Let's do you some have the bomb apple sauce, but I think maybe oh. a little bit more lemon. Okay, let's do some more lemon. And do not be scared of the garlic. <laughs> we want lots of garlic. Okay. Oh. Right. So let me do another lemon. These are little ones. Now, as far as roasting the potatoes, sweet potatoes, do they take the same amount of time? They as will take sweet? less time. Okay. But these purple sweet potatoes are drier, so mm -hmm. they may take a little bit longer, but they're going to be nice and roasty. Okay. They're not going to be mushy. Mm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. then. All right, so that's, Ooh, that's perfect. Good. That's exactly what we want. Yes. I so know. now, dump those sweet potatoes in there. And then do all good coating. Huh? Yes, and you can add more lemon at this point if you need to for more liquid. And then we're just gonna put them right on the tray. We're making potatoes. We are. We want to get all of that good coating out of the bowl. Spread them in a single layer. Pop them in the oven. And just keep an eye on them. They may need to be stirred around a little bit. Okay. Just want them nice and roasty. Nice, even. Even browning and yeah. cooking. All right, so these are roasted. These were our roasted garlic. Purple potatoes. Purple potatoes. And this is it. Now these will be crunchiest right now and they're gonna be hot. I'm scared for you. <laughs> these are not. It's always good when yeah. a chef tells you. I am scared for you. for you. I really um, am, but let's see. Now as you can see, these might be a little bit drier because 
If mm. we tried to do this with the regular mm -hmm. sweet potatoes, they would probably be the moist ones, the orange ones. Mm -hmm. They'd be a little more mushy. But these are perfect. I mean, these don't, they're not mushy at all. They're still sweet. I like that. But with all the garlic and the seasoning, they really have a nice flavor to them. They're, they're kind of that sweet, savory. Salty. Yeah. That's These really good. Purple potatoes are not going to be as sicky sweet mm -hmm. because some of those will drip. You remember when yeah. you cooked them before, they yeah. would just drip through. No, this is this a is nice awesome. savory. You guys got to make this. You got to make this. I'm telling Breakfast. you. <laughs> Breakfast. Dinner. Lunch or dinner. I knew you were going to oh, say that. Dessert. Oh, yeah. Whatever uh, you want to do. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> she would. If you want this recipe, you can check it out at our website, CaliforniaBountiful.com. Enjoy.